Hello and welcome to the T-Cray Pup channel. In this video I will be doing an unboxing and a trying on of my very first corset. If this interests you then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm just showing you here. I had gotten this product off of Etsy, and the person I got it from is called High German Wares. And I'm showing you the price that I paid total for my um, my uh, corset here. Here is uh, the description of um, what it looks like before I made my purchase and whatnot. So you can see all of the, the little lacing on the sides and um, pins in the front. And right here, I'm showing you um, the size measurements. I ended up getting a large um, because I had a 31 inch waist. So right here is just giving you the information as far as like what's um, this product made of and whatnot and a bit of uh, how to choose the right size here and how much um, the shipping is. You can have it customized, which is gonna cost a little bit more money and that they do they stitching in pa Pakistan. Right here I'm just showing you it has free shipping and it actually ships from Germany. Okay, I initially contacted the owner and I had some confusion or questions about um, the sizing and I wasn't exactly sure but they clarified it eventually because my waist is a 31 and um, initially when I saw it I, I thought it was two different directions they were given and they uh, easily cleared it up, cleared up the the situation as far as like that was concerned okay so um, it was supposed to have been delivered on the 10th of August however it was taking um, longer than I expected because the uh, Epsi was asking me for a review as well and I couldn't give them a review until I've got my uh, my corset so um, yeah I contacted the Isabel as you can see here and she gave me um, the tracking number and I was able to find out that my my corset was being delivered um, Actually, it was sooner than I thought it was. Uh, right here, I'm just showing you the packaging that I got. And the front is covered because it has my um, name and address and whatnot on it. So, um, yeah, it had been opened, apparently, as you can see here, probably by customs. Because, like I said, this is being shipped from Germany. So, uh, I'm going to take um, the package out and see what we got going on. Apparently, that had been opened, too. Um, because it has like a little zipper and it's actually down and some of the paperwork and the paper in that's wrapped the, around the corset is actually torn so um, I didn't have to have even have to unzip it so uh, right here I'm just uh, taking out the corset and you can see they have little rubber bands in the front where you button it up and this is the back here there's all these different strings and whatnot um, yeah so uh this is the little they call this a modesty palette panel in the back and um this is the instruction well no this is the tags that they use to identify that this product belongs to xyz company and whatnot and these strings i thought were pretty long and i thought that was strange because um like my initial thought initial thought is that okay so if i got a 31 this should be a 31 right and then when you when you draw all of this stuff in with all of the, the shoestrings and whatnot, then it'll be much less than that. So um, we're gonna see that that myth was uh, debunked. So uh, we're just gonna get into it. I'm gonna remove the little rubber bands and I'm gonna try it on. Okay, so this is me trying it on initially. As you can see, it does not fit. So I'll have to go in and um, undo a lot of these strings. Um, 
yeah so we have our top and the bottom I did a brief research online and um, we're gonna see what we can do okay just a reminder this is not a tutorial this is a video about me trying it on for the first time I'm not exactly skilled in this manner because like I said this is my first time trying a corset um, so don't come in thinking that you're gonna get um, 100% accurate information. I briefly got um, a viewing of how this thing works online my, YouTube myself because um, I don't have any experience in this particular uh, thing. None of my family members. This isn't something that um, I would know. I would know anything about. So this is exploring um, this particular uh, corset thing together. So um, anything that I do here, um, try it at your own risk, I guess. And if you want accurate information as far as like how all of this stuff is done, I would suggest you do your own research and look it up online. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about my experience. Um, yeah, I had to do a lot of um, undoing of the strings because apparently, as you can see here, my waist is pretty wide. And I got a beer belly, so yeah so it's going to take a little bit more apparently i do need that long i was complaining about the long um shoestring things in the back apparently i need all of that because um like i said i got a big dad body dad body belly so that's what we're going to work right now so this is me undoing it as best as i can um it's not exactly perfect um as you can see the lines one side the, the one on the left is a little bit uh, shorter compared to the right and I'm trying to make it even and whatnot and oh geez it's just like it's taking forever for me to get the sizing right so we're going to work through that together and we're going to see how this all turns out Okay, so um, this is a lot wider. Um, apparently, you're supposed to use like a shirt or something at the bottom because, you know, the body produces oils and whatnot and you have um, cells that are constantly shedding. In order to keep it clean, so I guess you wouldn't have to wash it as often, you would have to use a shirt. So finally, I got it on. 
and as you can see it's sitting um, kind of improperly I'm not exactly sure where it should fit as far as like where I should place it so that's going to take a little bit of work as you can see my modesty pa panel is what they call it is not fully extended like I said this is the first time I've ever tried uh, anything like this so um, I'm pulling on the strings um, the top strings control the top um, laces at the top and the bottom string controls the laces at the bottom and it's kind of it's 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 a little bit more complicated because like i said um i literally just got it out the box and i was so excited to try it so i decided to to video it and um i just got off of work so i'm, I'm actually kind of tired so i'm like i'm like oh i have to hurry up and do this because i wanted to put this video out for this week so here is what it looks like so far um, I don't I'm not exactly sure if I have it properly or in the proper position as far as like my waist and and things of that nature so um, that's me trying it and trying to figure out how all of this stuff goes so um, I mean I like to see things but I also like to actually physically practice things to get a better idea right here I'm noticing that the um, it was a loose string in the top, so I'm trying to adjust that right quick. Um, does anybody remember those hams? They have all those lines in it. Um, basically, I think that's what my back looks like right about now. But anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, model this for you. And then eventually I'm going to put on a shirt and try it again. And we're gonna see what it looks like thereafter. But right there, I was trying to fix the little modesty panel, is what that little thing is called, so that the wires or the shoestrings don't dig into your back. So I'm gonna take this off and try it again. Okay, so here we are with the undershirt underneath, making sure that I'm on camera all the way thoroughly. And yeah, so then um, this is me uh, trying it on again. Apparently, every time you put it on and take it off, you have to undo it and redo it again. Does that make sense? So I'm sucking in my stomach because apparently it was too tight. So then I got to go back in and release some more strings. So that's something you have to think about when you're trying this um, uh, corset, corset on. That's one thing you might have to keep in mind when you're doing this. So, uh, yeah, so I have to re-loosen the strings. Then when I take it off, I have to re-loosen the strings. When I put it on, I have to re-loosen the, loosen the strings. So, here we go again. Okay, so the lady I saw in the video, she tied it in the front, which I'm not even sure that's a good idea because if you have something that's tight fitting, you definitely don't want a, a bump in the front like that. But anyway, this is what it's looking like so far. And I'm going to give you a final view. I'm trying to get my arms out of the way. That's why um, my arms are lifted so you can get a view of how it's sitting on my body. And I'm trying to be fashionable at the same time. <laughs> so, yeah, that's why the hip is out. But, um, yeah. There you go. There you have it. My very first corset video. Okay, now on to my opinion. I believe um, that this corset, it felt like a vice grip wrapped around my waist. Um, I believe maybe I probably had it positioned in the wrong area because I felt it on my the lower portion of my rib cage. And like I said, it felt like a vice grip and it was pretty terrifying or kind of scary because it was almost like a, like a labyrinth or a maze. And um, when you pull on one string, you don't know what it's going to do, where it's going to tighten and, and things like that. And it was a little bit confusing. So um, I think I need a little bit more practice as far as like um, the use of it. I believe I made a pretty good purchase because it's not one of those fashionable ones that people wear on the outside of their clothing in order to make a, a clothing look good. This is the real deal. Um, the real deal corset. And I 
I so far I'm happy with my purchase. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.